what I really like about the tent, the Zempire Pronto 4, is how much headroom there is. And the air beams which you inflate go across, sort of like a jumping castle. And I'm fully extended, and there's a strap there which you can clip in for your light and your lantern, which is pleasing. And for those of you, all the hundreds of thousands of subscribers that I have, understand how important sleep is, um, sometimes at the sacrifice of going a bit heavier. So today I'm just going to go for the on-the-ground air mattress. It's a double, just cheapo from Kmart. It does the job. Uh, the thing, the reason why I like it is that it's got like a velour top which is not so squeaky if you roll around. Uh, not so much a problem for me tonight. So I've also invested a cordless pump, which means I don't have to drag the lighter cord from the car and then drag the mattress back in. So uh, it's quite handy. And because I weigh about 90 kilos, I like to overinflate it because um, obviously a little bit of air escapes uh, throughout the night uh, so I just like to over inflate it and hopefully that means I have a comfy night's sleep tonight as soon as I arrive at the campsite obviously I have to pitch the tent and I really like to get my bedding set up so whatever else happens what adventures me and Archie go on which appears he's not that interested at the moment uh, we can always come back and the bed's already made up so three two one Voila. So what I'm doing at the moment is I've actually made a tactical decision to swap mattresses from the side of the tent because it's a a right hand side opening sleeping bag from Black Wolf, which is my go to camping sleeping bag. I just bring a, do a pillow from home uh, because of where we are. It's going to get cold up through the ground, so I just have a doona on the airbed and then just my doona from home. So once I put Archie's bed in, we are all ready to go. So there you go, it's just about long enough and he can spread out and then at night time I'll put his blanket on there and he will sleep in the tent with me. High five. High five. Good boy. So the rapids behind us are about 100 metres from the campsite. I'm just trying to work out a way to get down there and have a dip, but it's very, very thick with shrubs. So, hopefully, we can find a way to get in the water. about to do some mozzie coils and if any of you have the ability to separate these without breaking them uh, please let me know because I think I'm hitting about zero for a hundred so it's Archie's dinner time wait up uh, wait high five good boy I'll keep him busy for about 10 seconds Unfortunately, the weather's turned a bit nasty with a bit of rain and a bit of wind. So I'm going to utilise the shelter that the, the owners have bought and built 
and I'm going to cook my dinner uh, under the shelter and have it there. And it's still not a bad view. Robbo's Outdoors Camp Kitchen and tonight we're having some chicken burgers with barbecue sauce, aioli, cheese and I've actually teamed up with one of Canberra's most iconic chicken brands, uh, Kingsley's. By teaming up I went down there and bought it. So I bought two southern fry fillets and we're going to have those. I'm just going to heat them up in the pan now and construct our chicken burgers and enjoy the view. So I'm just going to heat those through. Um, by my magnificent calculations, I'm going to say a couple of minutes either side, and that time will allow me to make my burgers. And Archie will continue to sniff around. So I'll let you know how they go. They look just about done. I actually forgot lettuce. And I don't eat tomato because it's a devil's food. And so it's just going to be two Kingsley Southern Fry fillets with cheese and some barbecue sauce and aioli and some sugar free lemonade. Good morning, Archie. Good boy. So, a pretty windy night. Um, so, the probe was up for about an hour at one o'clock. But this morning, the sun shining, still a little bit windy. But not a bad view. I think that's a sign for me to attempt the rope swing. Um, and if you're watching Matthew Johns, not the rugby league player, um, the idea is to enter the water vertically and not horizontally. So we'll see how we go. 